Witherspoon, upper cut from Witherspoon. But Richards continues to come on, slams to the body. Now the question will be, can Richards keep this up? Well, left hook from Richards. Who would like to not have to do that? He is landing some good shots here, and Witherspoon is finding himself a little bit. Uh, and this could shape up to be a real beauty of a fight. Look out, fellas. That's it. These guys are scoring well to the body. And they've been pretty accurate. They continue to trade here in the final seconds of round three. Richards continues to pour it on. He takes a couple of counter uppercuts at the bell. Listen. Hold it. Hold no. it. You're not snapping that jab now. You just as long as that compass high, I'm just gonna let it go at the yeah. top. Okay. Right. Look. Give me a deep breath. Listen. When you get close to this guy, you gotta go both in. But you got a lazy ass jab. You gotta pump it there. Okay. That's what I was giving this a dollar for. Okay. I won't need that. You need to put those punches down. Don't worry about sitting down on your head shot so much. Okay. Sit down on the body shot. Here's okay. Richards applying the pressure. And they're telling Witherspoon, you have a lazy jab. And, and they're right, because if you don't snap that jab out, you let a guy come right to you. That's a good shot from Witherspoon in close. He showed some life at the end of round three. Let's we'll see if there's a carry over. Round four, scheduled for 10. Richards comes out, races across the ring, and puts the pressure on. And we'll see if Richards can keep it up. His body weight fluctuates a lot from fight to fight. Well, 217 is a good number for him for this fight. And he is just, he's a battering ring. Comes in, fires the shots. Might even be using his head as a battering ram a little bit, but with his spoon, he's finding the most difficult way to fight. No jab here. And he's trying to go mano a mano. He wants to keep up the body punching. He's done fairly well with that so far. It was a good right hand by Richards, and he shook with his ball. Hands are free. And Richards has taken a couple of shots well. Uppercut from Witherspoon. Counter from Richards. Overhand right. From Richardson, uh, from Witherspoon, and he comes back with a short oh, chopping oh, right. Uppercuts. Overhand right. Witherspoon starting to let his fist go. Now he should be a little versatile. You landed a nice right hand. Richards is starting to tie you up. Move outside, jab a little, then go back at him. Short chopping right for Richards' jaw. Witherspoon coming to life here in round four. Shoots the jab. It's a free, baby. Let's go. Some counter shots by both fighters. Now in this round, Witherspoon has started body punching as well. Well, in tight, that's a good move, and Richards going wide. As Richards goes wide, it opens it up for Witherspoon. The way these guys are opening up. Somebody could walk into something big. Left hook from Richards. Both fighters with just one loss. Overhand right from Richards. Richards' loss came back in 2001. And he's bleeding now in the nose. They trade in close. Short chopping hooks from both fighters. Tell you what, it is an enjoyable fight. These guys are really digging in and, and trying to get the best out of each situation. Final seconds, round four. They don't let up. But Witherspoon started to throw more punches in this round. Oh, 
got to put it together. Don't yeah. count on one shot. Yeah. You feel baby? Good. Richards has Witherspoon up against the ropes after Witherspoon had done some good work outside. What them corners up good? What them up? Richards is feasting on this style here, and this is where I think Witherspoon should move outside more. Here we go, round five. So far in a slugfest. Both men throwing leather. Body and head shots. Body shots from Witherspoon. In close fighting. Richards took a shot, but came on. Maybe mad, I guess. These guys take each punch as an invitation to go one step higher. You hit me, I'm loading up now. It's my turn. Richards' best weapon is left hand. And okay, now here's four jabs by Witherspoon. Three got in, one didn't, but he didn't get hit at all during that time. And that's something he would like to do more of. His corner would like to see him do more of. Witherspoon wants to keep that right hand high. Body shots from Richards. Short chopping right from Witherspoon and uppercut from Witherspoon. And back comes Richards. And when Witherspoon is not jabbing here, he is letting Richards muscle him. It always makes you wonder, Dave, why when somebody has the reach advantage and has a, a fairly accurate jab, they don't use it on somebody who's charging straight at you. That's what drives Cornerman crazy. But it's not exciting for a fighter to do that. He'd rather load up and throw the right hand or fire the big left hook and go to the body. But if you throw the jab a couple times, that can set that punch up for you and you don't get hit. Two body shots from Richards. This is like put in a quarter and watch these guys go. They slug it out. Constant action. Trading in the middle of the ring. Short, choppy hooks and uppercuts, both men. Richards keeps coming. Hands are free, fellas, work. Hands are free. And his pants are also falling down. Right hand from Richards. Another right. An uppercut from Witherspoon. 20 seconds remaining here in round five. Scintillating action. A left, the right from Richards. Walking straight in to Witherspoon at the bell. Well, it's a 10-point must scoring system. Sometimes we say guys should be like 7-7 when they don't do much. This one could be 12-12. They open it up. Good action for both guys on the inside. Still, this is Richards's kind of style. Round six. And we'll see if uh, Adam Richards can keep pouring it on. Witherspoon, I believe, is a bit surprised that this rather unknown fighter from Mississippi, Texas, Louisiana came in here tonight and 
hasn't let up. Work out, fellas. Work out. No, hasn't ball. taken a backward step. He's been in front of him the whole time. And Witherspoon at times does fight effectively even after he's backed up, but it doesn't look good for you to the judges when you're always trying to fight from off the ropes and counter. A lot of the things you do might be obscured by where you are, so it's better for him to be outside, double jab, and see if you can get Richards to walk into a right hand. Witherspoon backing up. You can't punch backing up. On the ropes again. Work out and your hands are free. Work out. Work out. You're free. Bill Clancy telling them to work out of a clinch. They are fighting in a phone booth right now. Yeah, good, good uh, warfare from in tight. Favoring Richards. He just bulls his way through Witherspoon. Witherspoon doesn't even get the jab going to stop him. And even though Witherspoon sometimes fights effectively and spins him, the fact that he looks defensive is a risk for him. Thank you, Tom. Low blow timeout. It also gives Richards a chance to pull his pants up. Get some valuable air. Time in. They give you up to five minutes. He took hardly any time. I don't think Richards is a guy that's going to milk that too much. <laughs> He's right back in action. Hands are free. Hands are free. Witherspoon's got to be surprised, Dave, that he's getting so much pressure from a relatively unknown. Well, he's getting pressure consistently, and usually a guy will stop after a while. Uh, you, you won't get bell-to-bell -bell type of pressure, but he is a straight-ahead guy. Witherspoon could help himself if he moved more on angles. Get the guy turning. That's true. With Richards being a straight-ahead fighter, Angles would befuddle him. To confuse him, too. <laughs> and here's Richards, again, getting right in front of Witherspoon. And this is going to be interesting for the judges. How would you call it right now? It's Richards out in front, but some of these rounds... Witherspoon's been affected, but Richards may steal some just because he's applying pressure. And here's where the break came, and part of the reason for that was that Richardson had his glove behind Witherspoon's head, and that drifted him low. It's not going to be effective because he's got to reach out. That's all he got to do. Yeah, I heard that right. 